Hi, I'm Chris and this is CodeWithoutCode.com. Today we're actually going to build a quoting engine that can be used for cleaning companies, lawn mowing companies, or anything else that has a variable uh, quoting system. So the way this will work with a cleaning business is that you would ask the type of house, the number of bedrooms, and the number of bathrooms, which would then generate a unique quote for that location. You could also get them to type in their postcode or their address, and based upon a distance, you could actually adjust that. So today, we're actually going to build one for a cleaning company. And the tools that we're going to use is uh, laid out here in the prototype stack. We're going to use Typeform for capturing the data. We're going to use Zapier to take that data, do a calculation based upon the information in Typeform. We're going to save those customer details into a Google Sheet but that could easily be an Airtable or a, even a customer relationship management tool such as HubSpot or Pipedrive or Sugar CRM. From there, we're going to send a text message to the uh, person, the potential client, and also going to send an email using Mandrel. Just so we can visualize how this works a little bit better, this is what's going to happen. Typeform is going to ask the following questions, number of bedroom, number of bathroom. We're also going to ask for the name, the mobile phone number, and the address. Zappy is going to take those answers, take the details, do the calculation. We're going to write it into Google Sheets with a status that says quoted. We're going to add them to our database, and then we're going to add the total quote to the database. This means we can follow them up later. Then Twilio is going to send that SMS to them, and it's also going to include the quoted price in that message. Email will be the same, it'll just be scripted slightly different. Now just to show you a demo, here we go, it is based in uh, Typeform as I said. Welcome to your cleaning company. First name is Chris, first name is, last name is Drake, email address is chris at startupcompany.com, mobile number, and now this is where we're asking if it's a house, apartment, or a townhouse. Townhouse. Three bathrooms, and then that's it. From the point of view of a customer, this is all they're doing. Now, of course, we can use Typeform to style this and make it look a bit different. But now I just received a text message and just received an email as well. As I mentioned, we're going to use Typeform. So I'm just in the Typeform account now. And what we're actually going to do is use a pre-built template. Well, we were going to use a pre-built template, but Typeform has just crashed. I'm sure that was my problem. There we go. So the one that we're going to use today is going to be the membership application template, which is built into Typeform. The reason why we're using this is because it actually already has the first name and the last name built in. So a lot of it is already there for you to go and uh, fill it all in. The only difference are these other questions here that I deleted and then changed. So you can see I've already done one here and I won't waste too much time going through these questions. But as you can see, it's now asking for the number of bedrooms and this is a number field. It's also asking for your uh, the type of property, which is a multiple choice, so you can select which one you fall into, as well as uh, bedroom, bathrooms, and then it's just a thank you. If you were doing this for a lawn mowing business rather than a cleaning company, you may want to ask what uh, size the property is, and you could potentially use the picture choice to demonstrate what is small, large, extra large, etc. As uh, my understanding of my limited knowledge of mowing grass would probably be that is what would determine the actual price. So these are the variables that actually change what the quote is going to be. The type of property, the number of bedrooms, and the number of bathrooms. As always with uh, Typeform, what you want to do once you've finished it is configure it so it has the... Uh, Make sure it is it is public, and you also want to click on design and change it to be uh, how you want it to look. So that's colors and font and other things. Then we want to click view my type form and actually fill it in. If we don't fill it in, remember Zapier can't pull the data in 
In some cases, you will see dummy data, but we want real data because we really want to be able to test our emails and our text messages. So that's the first step done. Type form. Now it's to open up a new Zap in Zapier and actually start to connect these together. So I'm now in Zapier. I've typed in, uh, I've selected to create a new uh, Zap, and now all I'm going to do is actually tether the contact form to uh, the trigger. As remember, what triggers this is a new form being filled in. So we select that startup company type form. We then select the contact form, actually it's booking cleaning. And now we want to fetch and continue. And if we've done this correctly, all of the fields that we typed in should uh, be being pulled through. They are not. So let me retest this type form after I have filled it in. Okay, now the next step is to actually start to do the calculation on how uh, much the quote is going to be. So to do that, we're actually going to use a built-in field from Zapier called Formatter. And we're actually going to go Numbers. And then we're going to select Spreadsheet Style Formula. Now, one of the big assumptions that I'm making here is that the actual quoted price is determined by the number of bathrooms, the number of bedrooms. So to do that, what we want to do is we want to write an actual equation. So my assumption here is that for every bedroom, it's probably going to take maybe an extra hour. The hourly rate that we charge is, say, $30. So we're going to select number of bedrooms times 30 plus open bracket how many bedrooms times 20. And this assumption is it takes longer to clean a bathroom than it does to charge a bedroom. But if you were really looking at a, a cleaning company, my assumption here is that you would actually know what your numbers are and how long it takes. And then that way you can use that in your average. The next step here is obviously the fact that we are selecting a uh, apartment or a house, we then need to add into the um, equation the standard rate that we would charge for, say, the rest of the house. So my thoughts are it would be $25 for the kitchen and then another $25 for the main living area. And so when we click this, it should actually con actually solve our thing. But of course, I didn't pull in the numbers, so it's not going to do it. But you can manually check what that would be just based upon uh, standard maths. And so that is the basic way to calculate a quote. However, remember when we actually did our form, we're actually asking people to select what type of house they're in. If they're in a house, if they're in an apartment, if they're in a townhouse, and you could have multiple answers here. And the assumption is that if they're in a house, there's probably more living space, so therefore it costs more to actually clean because it takes longer. Same with an apartment, same with a townhouse. So what we're trying to do here is rather than doing the formula and manually typing it in, we're actually going to add another step previous to this, which is called a, a lookup table. So the way that we're going to do that is we use uh, utilities and then we select lookup table. The value that we want to look up is going to be the type of house, property, and then we're going to do apartment, we're going to do house, and then we're going to do townhouse. Now, the one I wrote before was for a apartment. And so how would this change for a townhouse and for a house? In fact, maybe you're going to assume that the kitchen will be larger, so it's going to be 35. The living area could also be larger. Then you're going to add in another variable. Just because it is a house, there's probably hallways and other areas that need to be cleaned. So we're going to add in another $30. With the townhouse, all that would change is we may increase these two numbers. So it would be 30 and 30, these ones. And so you can see that as the place actually gets bigger, 
it increases 25 to 30 to 35, but the number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms is still essentially the same. With the fallback value, you probably want to pick your highest rate just in case it doesn't automatically solve it because that still gives you the option to then follow up that person with the quote if you find out there was in fact a mistake and then offer them a discount. So we're just going to skip test. And now what we want to do is we want to, we want to go back to the number section and this time rather than typing it in, what we're actually going to do is grab the answer from the previous step. So this means now this right here is our quote, this is our quote generation, and this is the actual quote for that specific property. So that's the second step done. Now what we're trying to do is to add in the text message. So if you haven't already tethered your Twilio account, now is the time, and we want to send an SMS, and we are going to send it from our that startup company account, and we're going to use our food emoji. So two number is going to be the number that they typed in for the form. And as we're in Australia, once again, we're just going to type 6-1 at the front, as most people are going to type the phone number in as 04. Then in the message, what we're going to say is, hi, person's name. The quote for your cleaning quote for your This will be house, apartment, townhouse. Will be, quote, output, dollar. And at this point, we can reference the number of bedrooms, the number of bathrooms, or even the address. But that will now send them an actual text message. You can then start to add in a, to accept this quote. Please go to, and this is where you would put the link into however you're accepting bookings, be it on a Stripe form, or if you really wanted, you could actually use Typeform's built-in Stripe integration to actually take the payment. But if this step is out of your depth, just hold on as there will be another video that will cover this part. I'm gonna keep this basic for now. So we will ignore that. So then we just hit continue and now this message will be sent to that person and I'm just going to skip it and then that's it for that step as well. And so the final step is to send an email and as we've previously discussed in our videos there are lots of different ways to send an email. You could use the built-in Zapier email or for this version what we're actually going to use is is use a mandrel. So with mandrel you can actually set a template so it looks pretty, it looks great and you just feed the variables to mandrel and that email is sent from your own domain. But as we don't have one set up we're just going to send a standard email in mandrel. So what you would do is select the account that you're going to use and then you would select, uh, you would type in and fill in the fields. So for us we're going to send it from that cleaning co and it's going to be from cleaning at that startupcompany.com. To email is going to be the person's email address that they filled in. And we also want a record of it as well. So that way we can send it to cleaning. As per usual, we're going to include the person's name in our subject as we've noticed that it does increase opening rates.
and just going to keep this simple. But this can be in as, as extravagant as you want. And in fact, you can put your own HTML code if you really wanted to. So we're just going to keep it very simple. Let's say your quote is for your at and then that is all we need to do. We can obviously track these clicks as well and once again you can put in a link there to accept a quote. So the final step is to add it into our CRM and all we're going to do for for us is to actually add it into a Google Sheet just to keep it nice and simple. So to do that what we want to do is and just select Google Sheets, create a spreadsheet row and then choose the account that you want to use. It's then going to ask you to select from the drop down list of spreadsheet and so now before you get to this step what you need to do is to go into your Google Drive account and actually create a new sheet. You need to put in all of the attributes that you are interested in having and so if you give me a moment I will do that. A really fast way to do this is you actually log into your Typeform account and you click on the results section and you actually download your list and then all you do is you can just grab each of those headings and then paste them in. So now that we've got those all in what we can do is feed it in from Zapier. So when it comes to spreadsheet we will then select our cleaning code form and then from worksheet it will just be the first one so sheet one as you can see we haven't adjusted that. Now we go through and we fill, fill in each of these forms just by hitting on the insert field button and clicking on the new entry and then selecting from each of the variables that we want. So all of those fields have now been filled in but I did just realize there was one missing. What we want to add in is status and this will help us determine which people have accepted a quote, which ones we've sent a quote to. So in order to do that, now that I've filled this in, all you need to click is refresh fields. It'll go back, it'll check it, and then there you go. So this one we're actually going to hard code in, and the status will be quote sent. So now when someone fills in the form, they'll get an email here. They'll get a text message here. They'll also be added into our list with a status of quote sent or whatever it was that we just typed in. And so that is the end of the build. However, there are a few extra things that we can do. And if you click on the videos that should be on the screen now, we can actually go into in depth for these ones. So the first part that we're going to cover is how we can add them to a mailing list. Then what happens when they reply? So what, how do we get them to respond to that text message? How could we generate an invoice and then link them to pay it or actually pass through those fields so they can pay it straight away? then how do we actually get them to book a time? So that will be covered in the follow-up videos. So if you did enjoy this, please click on subscribe and click on like and then comment below. Thank you very much.